Hi everybody, this is the Luggage Works 14 inch multi tote bag. I'm making this video for anybody who's looking into getting a new roller bag. Uh, when I was purchasing this bag, I was looking online for anybody who had made a film about reviews and how this bag is holding up, but I couldn't find any, so I decided to make a video for anybody who was interested in getting a bag like this. I've had this bag for about six months now. It worked pretty well. Um, I'd recommend it for only day trips, maybe at most uh, an overnight. Anything else, you'd probably need a, a bigger bag. So anyways, let's get right into it. So you have this two little straps. You can use this bag as your primary or secondary bag. Um, just normal you can see that there's some wear and tear on here just from everyday use one thing that I try to do when I'm using it is when I have the handle up I try to put the strap over it the handle when I'm moving it because if not this thing will just dangle down and you know get on the floor make it even more dirtier uh, let's see you can close this if you wanted to there it goes zippers are really nice you do have this little slit right here where you can put it on top of uh, other larger bags but this bag itself is about seven and a half pounds so it probably make everything really top heavy down over here this is a hard plastic you can unscrew them with you know um, a screwdriver the wheels are nice they're very quiet. I had no problems with them. You can see just with the amount of use how they're pretty holding up. Here, <clears throat> bottom side is also a hard plastic. Over to the pockets. Here's the front pocket compartment. You can see is you can put a little passport in here. That's where you keep my passport. Uh, another pocket here in the center. That's where I put usually my pilot certificates. Here's where you can put some business cards. I don't use this pocket. I wish they had a pocket design more like this or like this. But yeah, this I don't I don't really use. Right here is another zipper, another pocket where I can just put some stuff. You can put pens, pencils. Here you have another little pocket. I just keep my masks in here. It's pretty deep. Um, I'm gonna make another video that's gonna go into the dimensions with the tape ruler, so. This is that pocket in here. I just put my masks in there. And this side is where I keep the iPads, EFBs, books. charger. You can put a laptop in here. Into the main compartment. Put a headset. Got a big old flashlight in here. You can see how big this thing is. A lot of space. I got an umbrella pad. You do have another pocket here on the side. So there's one pocket. And there's another pocket. And then over here you have this other plastic pocket. I don't know if this is waterproof yet. You can see you know, it's pretty big. Plastic on both sides. So that's actually kind of nice. You know, when you do use it, the bag, it does expand out maybe an inch or two more. Um, of course, you want to put all the big bulky items on the bottom and put all the smaller stuff on top. Mm -hmm. 
And here you have your little water pocket, your water bottle pocket. You can put a Gatorade or a big old Dasani bottle in here. And onto the last pocket. Just a little side pocket. Um, I don't really use this, but I like to have it just for some spare parts. It's pretty deep. This pocket basically goes all the way down to this stitch right here. And that's how big this pocket is. So probably like six inches. Again, I'll, I'll be showing you guys the dimensions of this bag with a, a tape measure in my second video. The handle itself is really nice. I haven't had a break. This is the halfway point. And it goes up a little bit higher. About like that. When you buy the bag, it does come with two um, extra bags. One is a laptop bag and one is a little cooler bag for food. I don't use the cooler bag for food. I just put my e-bag on top and uh, it works just fine. The cooler bag kind of makes takes too much space on the inside, um, which is why I don't use it. And the laptop bag, well, you know, I don't really need a laptop. So hope you guys enjoyed the video.